Welcome back to new exercise spray nozzle. Here you will see all dimensions are in millimeter scale 1 is to 1. Okay. Now here we have cosmetic thread in drawing but in we will make a real view, a real thread. So let's start with the main body creating with the help of revolve boss base feature. So let's collect the data. This is overall length 93.5. Now here see few distance like this diameter 45 millimeter look here and this is the view up top view and bottom there is one more thing you will see in section view this is hexagon 74.74 the vertical length okay now this distance 18 28 48 now this distance 58.5 68.5 and the bottom diameter 15.5 and the upper diameter 30 millimeter so these are the and here you will see one more diameter, diameter 26 millimeter. So let's do this first. Activate front plane sketch. Now activate line tool. And uh, I am going to start from origin point. Something like this. Don't create any relation or something like. Okay. Now I am going to make this one construction line so that it is us to create a diameter. Activate the smart dimension. Now first I am going to define overall length 93.5 millimeter. Okay, now let us define the diameter. If I move my cursor over here, it will show us diameter 26 this diameter 45 and this one 30 look and this bottom one 15.5 look it's cool again I am going to define this one hold shift key and select this one 18 now distance from here to here 58.4 now again distance from here to bottom 64 8.5 uh, that's fully defined now let's check what else balance we already defined this one also okay this is horizontal uh, that's it now activate revolve boss base feature now this is open profile so it is asking you would you like to sketch to be closed say yes now by default it is detected the center of axis of revolution or center line keep end condition blind and 360 degree we want a complete solid body so keep angle 360 degree say yes look now at uh, you will see distance 28 millimeter from this face a hexagon 34.74 millimeter we will create and the width of this hexagon 48 minus 28 it's 20 millimeter okay then at same front plane there is one cylindrical part 32 kilometer uh, 32 millimeter away from here and these you will see the detail view here outer diameter 8 0.75 and 8 millimeter from above edge and 32 millimeter this is the distance so let's create these two things plane and 28 millimeter from this see here dimension 28 flip side okay now select the plane sketch activate hexagon or polygon keep parameter 6 number inscribed now I am going to draw one something like this and click one line vertical smart dimension now the center distance 34.74 millimeter extrude now this distance end condition we will find 20 millimeter but this is going wrong direction reverse direction end condition blind look say yes again let me click and hide plane 
front plane is sketch circle. Now here I am going to draw one circle. A smart dimension, the diameter is 8.75 millimeter. Similarly, distance from upper edge shows 8 millimeter, right? It's still drawing not fully defined because we need to put in center line. So hold shift key, select origin point and center of circle, create constraint vertical. Look, this is if black color means fully defined. Now, let's activate extruded boss base. Now here the catch. This is 32 kilometer, uh, millimeter away from the cent front plane. So we will use start from offset. What distance 32? Reverse. And here I am going to choose up to surface. And I will choose this surface. Look. This is going to start from 32 millimeter and up to this body. Say yes. Look. You don't need to create plane here. Now. Let us do some more thing here. Now here let us create this cutout. Now here see diameter 18 millimeter and these diameter not shown means this is collinear with this. Then there is a small diameter 5.7, 16 millimeter this depth and this is parallel to this face. Then if you come down, this is also parallel to this face. Now here section AA, 9.5, 3.95, 45 degree. So let us do this. And one more thing, here also we need to create a hole. See this is, the, there is a hole, 6 diameter and this is throughout the body. This is also going to create. So let us front plane, right plane, sketch. Activate line tool, connect center point to center point. Something like taper. And connect up to here. And this is collinear with this line. So this point and again again we are going to convert this construction line. It will ease to define. Now this line diameter here 18 millimeter. Now this is collinear with this. This one goes 5.7 millimeter. Perfect. And uh, this is going to be collinear. And let us come to here 9.5 millimeter. And this point 3.5 millimeter. Okay. Now let us show angle 45 degree. Now this bottom one sort out. Uh, let us try to create few important thing. Hold shift key. These two lines collinear. Sixteen. Now this is also sort out. Activate revolve cut. Now it is open profile. So again it is asked. Would you like to sketch to be automatically closed? Say yes. By default, it automatically detects the axis of revolution 360 degree because we want to cut a complete 360 degree. Say yes. Now it is asking you bodies to keep. So keep all body. Okay. Only let us check right sketch. Look, a sketch and here I am going to add a circle. And that is going to be 6 diameter. Look, this is important. 
activate revo extruded cut now this is going to be what we are going to choose up to next say okay look the hole is created 6 diameter now let's add thread 26 to thread full thread here and there is a chamfer 2 millimeter and 2 by 45 degree so first i am going to choose the inner edge chamfer and this is going to be 2 into 45 degree and chamfer type here select angle distance here the edge we selected tangent propagation full preview say yes again the this one and here everything same angle distance and everything just only edge we selected tangent propagation and here 3 by 45 degree now activate thread ok now here first thread location so we have to choose start edge look fine keep end condition up to selection and I am going to select this face now here ok come down and we want to cut thread so we have to choose metric die now here M26 M26 is not here so simply we will do overwrite M26 2 we have to choose here cut thread not extrude thread because we selected die now here the important thing now see this thread going inside look the preview so here choose trim width and face now it is going to trim up to this face come up offset why we choose offset because this is going to start from here if say yes look this uneven thing you will notice again edit and here select offset and make 2 millimeter upside ok look now this scenario is changed so this is the simple spray nozzle we created in solidworks with the help of basic features i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching